Yo, what's going on guys and welcome to another Dying Light 2 video. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 things which you probably didn't know you could do in Dying Light 2. Now I am willing to place a bet. If you already knew everything mentioned in this video, you don't have to subscribe. However, if you learn anything new, you drop a sub. Now I would say that's fair, right? Anyway, as always, if you do enjoy, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy the video. So at number one on our list of things you probably didn't know, we have got the fact you can actually throw a throwing knife after a takedown into a gas canister. Now we already know that after you do a takedown with a throwing knife you can throw a second knife at an enemy but did you know that if you do a takedown near a gas canister the second knife can actually be thrown at the gas canister to make it explode now this can be useful if there are lots of enemies that you want to see blow up and fly everywhere because it is pretty funny watching them fly around it is kind of cool that you can use the environment to your advantage in this way so there you have it <laughs> Now on to the second thing on our list. Now I'm sure you are all familiar with the slide jump. In case you aren't, this is actually the fastest way to get around on foot um, by doing a slide and then a jump afterwards. You can also press shift for an additional speed boost at the end or press your left analog stick if you're on controller. But one thing that always annoyed me about the slide jump is that you cannot do two consecutive slide jumps in a row without there being a pause in the middle and you losing momentum. Or can you? You see, after intensive research on this subject, I found a solution. Now pay attention carefully. If you do a slide jump by pressing C and then space, instead of pressing the after boost button, that being shift or your analog stick, you instead press your crouch button twice. So that would be CC on keyboard, or you would press circle circle or BB on controller. Now you would press that twice, and then on the second one, you hold down that button. So it would be C and then hold C. And then you can actually flow straight into a second slide jump without a pause, essentially allowing you to just spam it. It even works once your stamina has run out. And doing this is the fastest way to get around on foot. You literally zoom through the streets. Now just remember that every time you do it, you cannot press the after boost at the end. Otherwise it will not work and it won't flow into another one. Now the third thing that you probably didn't know is that you can dodge certain goon attacks by simply crouching and jumping. A lot of people when they see goon swings like this will probably dodge backwards, but this means you will still just get hit by the hammer afterwards. Now instead, simply crouch when you see this swing incoming and continue to attack. It's a very quick and effective way to dodge attacks. Alternatively, if the goon does his stomp attack, instead of dodging back or running, you can simply jump in the air and you will evade the attack very easily. This should make taking goons a lot simpler and even quicker since it will save you time dodging and you can still attack while you were in the air or while you crouched. Now I know you guys are eager to find out what else we have in store but allow me to interrupt you to pay my bills and introduce you to the sponsor of this video wraith energy wraith energy is a caffeine fueled drink mix packed with energy boosting ingredients and mouth watering flavors wraith energy is your secret weapon for gaming workouts or just crushing the day all for an affordable price now i love each and every one of my viewers and appreciate the support they give me and my channel and would never promote a product that is not worth it so of course i gave wraith a try myself i tried rg berry get it because it's rgb R rg berry <laughs> no? <laughs> this is a mixture of multiple berries and it tastes really good, but there's over 20 flavours to choose from, so try them for yourself. All you have to do is take one serving with a spoon provided, drop it into the shaker with water and give it a shake. So if you guys want to help me in my content creation, click the link in the description or at the top of the comments and make a purchase of Wraith Energy using the code JAMMY20 at checkout for 20% off. Thank you and let's get back to the video. Now next up on the list of things that you probably didn't know is that you can actually kick off of walls in Dying Light 2 and it looks like this. As you can see, it not only looks cool, but it sends you flying. Now, to perform this, you must swing on your grapple towards the wall. And when you're about to hit the wall, you press your attack button, that being left click or your trigger, and this will do a kick. But once you do this, you actually hold your jump button at the same time. Do both of those steps and then hold S or pull back your analog stick in order to fly in the opposite direction. Now, I know it may seem very confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy to do. In terms of usefulness, it's okay. I like doing this mainly just because it makes me feel cool. <laughs> That's basically it. Although it does send you flying, so it can be a cool movement tech. Now, at number five on our list of things you probably didn't know you could do is that you can repair your weapon on the go. And no, I am not talking about the correct charm since that got changed and no longer repairs weapons. The way you can repair your weapons on the go now is even simpler and quicker than the correct charm was. Now, I do not know if this works on console, but at least on PC, if a weapon is low in durability or even damaged at all, you can literally just hold R and, and whatever weapon you have equipped will be repaired. Now, this is very strange since there is no prompt 
or no HUD or UI that indicates anything happening, but the weapon just suddenly becomes repaired and I don't even think it uses any resources. So I'm actually not even sure if it's meant to be in the game or not, but it is something you can do at least on PC. Maybe it works on console, but the button I am not familiar with. At number six, we have got the block charge. In case you didn't know what the block charge is, which honestly wouldn't surprise me since no one actually unironically uses this move. But when you do remember that it exists, it's actually a pretty cool move. The block charge basically lets you use an enemy as a meat shield when falling from a high place and also negates all fall damage that would have been taken had the enemy not been there. Before the recent update, enemies would just despawn um, and literally just disappear if you did this move from too high up. But with the update, they actually added a move that allowed you to punch the shit out of the enemy before letting them fall to their death so you can get away. Now you can choose when you want to punch them, be it instantly or wait until the game forces you to punch, which is a very long way down. But yeah, it's a nice little addition to the game and um, it's also very funny just punching people while you're falling from the sky. Now number seven on that list, we have got a glitch that lets you glitch into any building you want. And what you need to do is find a ledge with nothing underneath it on the side of a building and then jump onto that ledge. But ensure that you are in a hanging position. Then press your attack button or press E to do a swinging kick. But ensure you do this while facing the wall of the building. If done successfully, you should glitch into the building, uh, even if you are clearly not supposed to be able to go in there. This swing thing is actually pretty cool, which not many people know about and can be used on any ledge with nothing under it. It can even be used in buildings or on the buses around the map. It's not really something you need to know, but it is still a nice little move if you just want to look cool. Now, number eight on our list of things you didn't know is the wall run kick. This is a move which many players in Dying Light 2 didn't even know exists, whereby you perform a wall run and then jump off to kick the enemy in the face. This can be performed by doing a basic wall run near an enemy and then holding left click or your attack button while you are still wall running. Of course, be sure to aim at the enemy when you do so. The longer you hold down attack, the further you will fly upon jumping off the wall. This move is actually severely underrated as it does a lot of damage to enemies, but it should definitely be used against human enemies as they can't even dodge it. As you probably know in Dying Light 2, once you perform the same enemy on a move, once you perform the same enemy on a move, <laughs> probably like two or three times they learn after that and they start dodging the, that attack and you can't hit them with it anymore however with this move if you do it on an enemy they will literally never learn <laughs> you can just keep constantly kicking them in the face every time and it keeps working so yeah you can spam this move as much as you like when fighting humans number nine on our list is another movement tech which allows you to travel through the city really fast so basically when you grapple you may know that you can kick off the grappling hook and it will give you a short speed boost while you kick although it doesn't last a very long time since you fall afterwards however if you grapple and then kick off the grapple while holding space down or your jump button you will see that you go much further than before in fact you even go upwards when you kick if you do this and you can chain your grapples and become spider-man swinging through the city the same concept also applies to kicking off of paragliders whereby if you hold space and then you kick you go in a straight trajectory instead of going downwards you can combine this tech with the paraglider boost to create the fastest way to travel in dying light 2 of course other than using fast travel all you need to do is boost upwards then kick off and then pull out the glider and boost up again. Simply repeat this and you'll be flying around the map in no time. Now last but not least we have the 10th thing that you probably didn't know you could do in Dying Light 2 and that is the triple jump. Now I have already shown this in my movement video a while back but it's currently still in the game unlike the grapple bash which got patched out. So sad, so sad. I'm gonna miss you man. So here is a snippet from that video. To do this you do the double jump but then right as Aiden groans if you press your left click or your melee button it will further project you up into the air. This is extremely useful and I use it in my day-to-day -day parkour. It's very useful for getting up ledges which you otherwise couldn't make. Although using it with the double jump isn't the only thing you can do. You can also do it when jumping off the head of zombies. So if you use your zombie jump thing when you jump on their heads and then you time it right, you can actually elevate yourself further as you can see in the clip. Here's a normal jump and here's a jump with the tech. But that is still not it. There is another way it can be used. As you know, when you do a takedown, you have the option to press space after and you do a jump. Although it always annoyed me that the jump was so small that you couldn't even go anywhere with it. But with this tech, you can jump even higher after taking down an enemy. So you can take an enemy down and then safely get on top of a building. So that was how to do the triple jump. And as of the release of this video, it still works. So that was the end of the video. Did you learn at least one new thing? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also join my Discord if you like Dying Light too. The link is in the description. Anyway, see ya.